one of the most underreported and unutilized things that we never get to talk about when it comes to anything in society is our expenses. Today I'm going to break down to you three expenses that are holding you back from becoming financially free today. All right, number one, let's get right into it, is housing. Housing is the largest expense that you have as a human being. It contributes to about 40% of your annual income and you need it, it's essential. So it's very important to figure out ways to reduce that expense. Believe it or not, the average American spends seven times their annual income to buy a home today. Okay, so in other words, it costs you seven times your annual income to purchase a home today. And renters are not free from that expense either. As a renter, housing has gone up about 18% in the last five years, which is outpacing inflation. So this is a major problem. One way to reduce this expense, okay, that I've been talking about for a long time is called house hacking. House hacking is the act of buying a property that has two or more units, living in one of those units while you rent out the other units. What that does is that allows you to collect rent from those tenants, which therefore you pay your rent with. In essence, you are living for very little than what you would if you were just covering it on your own. And at best, you are probably making a bit of an income from charging your tenants a certain amount of rent. So it is a win-win. All right. Number two way to reduce your housing expense is to Airbnb a room. If you are living in a house or if you have a two bedroom apartment, you can Airbnb one of those rooms, which will allow you to bring in monthly income. Okay. Number three, which people may not like this one, but I will have to say it because I think this is one of the most undermentioned things that anyone can say, which is living with your parents. Many people don't like to live with their parents, which is fine, but it is still a great way to build a little bit of a nest egg if you use it appropriately. All right. So living with your parents will reduce your in will reduce your housing expense. Number four is getting a roommate. If you live in an apartment again or a house, getting a roommate will definitely alleviate the amount of money you have to pay every month towards your mortgage, towards your housing expenses. Okay. Number two, as far as the expenses goes, is transportation. Transportation is one of the largest expenses that us Americans have. It contributes to about 15% of our annual income. Things such as car note, things such as insurance, maintenance, wear and tear, all of those things contribute to the expense of transportation. One of the, one of the better ways to be able to reduce expenses when it comes to transportation is buying a used car. If you can buy a used car or a cash car, this will allow you to not have to worry about a car note, which will definitely decrease the amount of money you use for transportation. All right. Number two, you may not like this one, public transportation, using the bus, using the trains, using whatever public transportation that you have access to. Last but not least is using a bike. Okay, using it, which is could be considered a form of public transportation or not, whatever you want to consider it. Using a bike will definitely reduce the amount of expense you use, and at the same time, you'll get an added benefit, which is you will also be in shape. All right, last but not least is food. Food contributes to about 20% of your annual income. All right, it is a major expense that we, we all have to deal with. And there's no way around it, really. Now, the, here are some ways or some strategies you can use to reduce that amount of expense that you have when it comes to food. All right, meal prep. Meal prepping is a great way to reduce the amount of expenses that you have to allocate towards food because not only are you planning ahead of time and preparing your food, but it also deters you from buying outside in other restaurants which are two to three times more expensive than cooking at home anyway so it alleviates the pressure and the temptation of eating out and at the same time you have food that you cook at home which is less expensive okay so that's number one number two is buying in bulk okay buying 
large quantities of food usually are a lot cheaper than buying one or two uh, amounts or items because when you buy in bulk you get a deeper discount okay buying at costco is a great example because when you buy at costco usually they sell at wholesale so they don't they don't charge you the markup of having to buy at a regular grocery store you buy wholesale prices which is cheaper for you and at the same time you also have larger amounts of food which will last you longer which therefore not tempt you to go out eat to go eat out and spend more money all right number three lastly is this is this one is kind of out there but it is work at a restaurant if you work at a restaurant you don't have the pressure of having to buy food or eat out because you have that benefit of getting food from there most of the time very cheaply if not for free okay so those are three expenses that you need to reduce immediately in order to become financially free all right number one is housing number two is transportation and number three is food these are the largest expenses that we have and hopefully this will help you in getting financially free because once you can reduce these expenses you will start being able to grow and save more money which will allow you to use that money and have it work for you giving you a step closer to becoming financially free okay so the next video we're going to talk about what to do with that money how to organize it how to set it up to where you can continue to see it grow okay with that being said talk to y'all later peace